Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's change the dimension color, the component color and the hatching color in Creo parametric. So let's get started. And to explain it, I have two drawings with me. This is the first one and one more I have, which is this one. Now let's start with the dimension color. So there are two different ways to change the dimension color. The first way is you go directly to the file, option. System Appearance, Graphics and here you have several options. You can play with these colors. And you get this kind of result. You can even change the geometric color. But this is for the entire drawing. So if you have the individual requirement, then directly select your dimension. Go to the format and you can change your dimension color from here. So go inside this and change the color. And this will only affect to the selected dimension. Similarly, for this drawing, let's say I want to change the color of this dimension. So select the dimension, go to the format, go to the color and select the color. Now to change the component color, first you go to component display. Now here you have this option style, there are several other options, but for this tutorial, we will only focus on style. So select the style and select the component, press middle mouse button to say enter. So once you do this, you get these options open. Go for use color and choose your color. Say ok and done. and your component color is changed. Now the next thing is changing the hatching color and for that first you go to the hatch, double click it, go to the pick and then pick your required component, press middle mouse button to say enter. Now once this is done, you have two different type of hatch pattern here, hatch XCH and hatch pat. You can go with any one. Now from here you can change the color of the hatching. So go to the color. Select the required color and say OK. You can even increase or decrease the hatch spacing using scale. So go inside the scale, select half and say done. And your hatch color is changed. So this is how you change your dimension color, your component color and your hatching color in Creo parametric. And I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.